I don't think people from Alaska too much really decided that when they wanted to play college hockey it was in Nebraska. Honestly, I think with the whole new ring coming in, I was talk they were talking to me about that, and Coach Blaze really kind of sealed the deal for me. And I was just some dimple-faced kid from Alaska, just trying to get out of the get out of the state, make a name for myself. Uh, it was almost a no-brainer uh, to come here, become a part of that experience, and put on the Maverick jersey. I don't know if I could just be an average college student. I think having hockey really motivated me to be at school, to do well in school. And it's especially different for a kid from Ontario to kind of go against the path of the OHL and the CHL. Um, but, you know, um, I think it's a decision that uh, has yielded a lot of positives and one that I'm definitely happy that I made. The whole vibe about our hockey team around this whole town is completely different. I think that, um, you know, obviously going to the Frozen Four, our fan base has increased a lot and having the new rink and stuff like that. But um, we've had some loyal fans here and it's just crazy to think about the difference from my senior year to my freshman year, how big we've become not only in the town but nationally too. Looking back to Lane Pierce and myself freshman year is just black and white to how much better this program has gotten and how much more support they've gotten and now to finally have a place to call home. We are now starting to establish ourselves in those powerhouse schools. What I'll miss the most, uh, I'd have to say definitely uh, my teammates. Um, just being part of something so special, being part of a family. Honestly, I think just the guys, being around the guys every single day is something that you can't really take for granted. Um, going to the rink every day and seeing the smiling faces and stuff, it's important, it makes your day better if you're not having a good day and vice versa for them too. It's a second family. I know it's kind of cliche, but it honestly is you're around these guys, I'm around these guys more than I am my actual family. Just seeing the guys, being able to joke, be yourself, I mean, I think that's something that you miss. You can learn a lot, I feel like, um, you know, Going through four years here and going through that, I feel like I'm kind of ready for anything that life throws at me.